नमस्कार मैं डॉक्टर नीरज गोयल हूँ आई एम क्लिनिकल लीड एंड सीनियर कंसल्टेंट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जी आई सर्जरी जी आई ऑनकोलॉजी एट धर्मशिला नारायणा सुपर स्पेशलिटी हॉस्पिटल न्यू दिल्ली टुडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट पैंक्रियाटिक कैंसर पैंक्रियाज का कैंसर बिफोर वी गो ऑन टू कैंसर वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज पैंक्रियाज पैंक्रियाज इज एन ऑर्गन विच इज सिचुएटेड एट द जंक्शन ऑफ द बाइल्डक टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टीन and it produces pancreatic enzymes which are important for the digestion of the food to pancreas jo hai hamara bile duct upar se aata hai and pancreatic duct ye dono wahan par ja ke judte hain and then they drain into the small intestine so pancreas is an organ for digestion of the food and it also produces hormones like insulin insulin hamare blood sugar ko control karne ke liye bada important hormone hai so any cancer which is affecting any tissue in the pancreas is a pancreatic cancer so pancreatic cancer mein jo hum aaj baat karna cha rahe hain the thing which i am trying to talk to you today is about the pancreatic adenocarcinoma it is called as uh, ductal carcinoma of the pancreas usually pancreas ko hum char part mein divide karte hain head neck body and tail सो so, पैंक्रियाज में ये जो होने वाला ये कैंसर है डॉक्टर एडिनो कार्सिनम ऑफ द पैंक्रियाज द मोस्ट कॉमन साइट इज द हेड ऑफ द पैंक्रियाज एज ऑल वी नो दैट हेड ऑफ द पैंक्रियाज के अंदर बाइल डक्ट और पैंक्रियाटिक डक्ट का जंक्शन होता है तो ये जो ट्यूमर्स होते हैं यूजअली दे पुट ए कंप्रेशन कंप्रेशन ऑन टू द बाइल डक्ट तो जो बाइल डक्ट के अंदर कंप्रेशन होता है उसकी वजह से इनमें जॉन्डिस होता है विल कम टू द सिम्टम्स स्लाइटली लेटर फर्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ओवर हेयर इज टू नोट द कॉजेज ऑफ द पैंक्रियाटिक अडिनो कार्सिनोमा द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कॉज ऑफ द कार्सिनोमा ऑफ द पैंक्रियाज विच हैज बिन रिपोर्टेड इज स्मोकिंग इट हैज अ वेरी कॉजल एसोसिएशन विद पैंक्रियाटिक अडिनो कार्सिनोमा द सेकेंड फैक्टर इज अल्कोहल शराब and other uh, factors like uh, chronic pancreatitis there are certain hereditary syndromes which can uh, lead to formation of uh, pancreatite uh, pancreatic carcinomas most important and the modifiable factors i would say in uh, genesis of pancreatic adenocarcinoma are alcohol smoking and obesity obesity itself is a factor for almost every kind of uh, cancer developing in the gi tract gastrointestinal tract so now we come on to the symptoms of the pancreatic cancer pancreatic cancer ka sabse important symptom is pain pain usually central abdomen mein hota hai jo back ki taraf radiate kar sakta hai and it is usually severe pain is very soon followed by in the terms of incidence is jaundice jaundice usually progressively increasing jaundice hota hai kabhi kabhi isme pain nahi bhi hota hai to painless progressive jaundice usually is a symptom of carcinoma and the most common site of the carcinoma at that area is the pancreatic head carcinoma so ductal carcinoma of the head of the pancreas two major important symptoms are pain and jaundice second the patient may lose weight there is loss of appetite and uh, patient may have uh, general feeling of being unwell and uh, i would say that jaundice pain and uh, weight loss are the most common symptoms which we find uh, there in our practice with all these symptoms once you contact your doctor you will be having a wide array of investigations being uh, offered to you first would be the blood investigations which would uh, include uh, cbc that the complete blood count and liver function test important radiological imaging first investigation would be ultrasound ultrasound is usually able to tell us about the pancreatic uh, head and the mass lesion if present over there and the bile ducts and the dilatation of the bile ducts and if there is any other lesion into the liver if there is any lesion into the liver it means that the disease has spread to the liver if the disease is not spread then the doctor will be asking you to get a triple phase ct scan of the abdomen that will define the extent of the disease it will be the radiologic staging of the disease on which the basis of the surgery is there on the base of uh, this ct scan the surgery will be planned on you if your ct scan says that the disease is limited you have to undergo a surgery there are certain other investigations like uh, pet ct scan but uh, usually pet ct scan is not required if we have availability of triple phase ct scan 
but sometimes there are certain uh, metastases or there is certain spread of the disease which is not seen by the CT scan can be picked up by the PET scan. But it is uh, not there in the algorithm for the diagnosis of uh, pancreatic ductal carcinoma. When uh, uh, the staging, the clinical staging of the disease has been done, the surgeon, the gastro surgeon feels that uh, the disease is resectable, patient is planned for surgery. You will undergo a pre-anesthesia checkup. Following uh, that, if you are anesthesia fit, you will be taken up for a surgery which is called as uh, pancreatic or duodenectomy or in uh, common terms it is known as the Whipple's procedure in which uh, we are going to remove, we are going to operate on this ductal carcinoma and we are going to remove the head of the pancreas. Uh, it is a rather I in to simplify the things, it is a complex of the biliopancreatic junction which is removed. So, we will be removing the gallbladder, the bile duct below the gallbladder, uh, the head of the pancreas, the small intestine involved. And then we will be join after removing all this specimen and the lymph nodes around, we will be joining back the pancreatic duct, the bile duct and the elementary tract. That is the small intestine will be joined either to the duodenum or it will be joined to the stomach. So, this whole procedure is called as Whipple procedure. It is uh, uh, very, I would say now it has become very safe procedure. The mortality at our center is less than 1 percent and the morbidity rate is less than 10 percent. So, it is a very well and safe procedure, usually it is around 4 to 6 hours procedure uh, and uh, the patient requires to stay in the ICU for a minimum of one day and the patient is then shifted out and in our practice our patients go home by day 5 or 6 of the surgery. Uh, Following that, the tumor is uh, staged by the histopathological staging that is the proper staging of the disease and according to the stage of the disease, you will be uh, advised to undergo either chemotherapy or chemotherapy and radiotherapy both as the case may be depending upon your histopathological report. Pancreatic cancer is an aggressive disease, so we have to be aggressive, surgery is the main treatment. But if sometimes surgery is not possible or the disease is slightly advanced, uh, you might be advised to take chemotherapy before as a, in the form of preoperative or new adjuvant chemotherapy. Following that, when the disease uh, size shrinks, the patient will be taken up for surgery and the tumor will be removed again. So, the main uh, stress is there on to the surgery either upfront or after the chemotherapy or radiotherapy. So, we have to be very aggressive in the treatment of the pancreatic cancer and this disease is one of the disease which is very much treatable and I would say curable if found in the earlier, earlier stages of the disease. Thank you.